Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, join my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will describe and explain why microscopes are necessary technology tools to view cells. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain why microscopes are necessary technology tools to view cells. Let's do a quick review of the basics of cells. A cell is the smallest unit of a living thing. A living thing like you is called an organism. Essentially, cells are the basic building blocks that make up all organisms. In multicellular organisms, several cells of one particular kind interconnect with each other and perform shared functions to form tissues like muscle tissue, bone tissue, and nervous tissue. Several tissues combine to form an organ like your stomach, your heart, or your brain. And several organs make up an organ system such as the digestive system, circulatory system, or nervous system. And last, several systems function together to form an organism like an elephant, a cheetah, or a panda. There are many types of cells and all are grouped into one of two broad categories, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Animal cells, plant cells, fungal cells, and protocells are classified as eukaryotic cells whereas bacteria and archaea cells are classified as prokaryotic cells. With all of this information on cells, you would think that they are easy to see, but actually it's quite the opposite. Almost all cells are too small to be seen with the naked eye. To give you a sense of how small the size of a cell is, you can fit approximately 250 red blood cells on the tip of a safety pin or sewing needle. So how are we able to gather all of this information about cells if they are too small to see with our own eyes? That's a great question. Let's dive into that next by examining how biologists study cells. Cells vary in size. With a few exceptions, individual cells are too small to be seen with the naked eye. So scientists use microscopes to study them. A microscope is an instrument that magnifies or makes an object appear larger. Most images of cells are taken with a microscope and are called micrographs. There are two main types of microscopes used to view cells, which are light microscopes and electron microscopes. In this video, we will focus on light microscopes since these are normally what are used in elementary, middle, and high schools. A compound light microscope gathers light from a small area where your specimen is on the stage and sends this light up through the objective lens. The objective lens magnifies the sample as do the eyepieces you are looking through. In order to focus or make the image clearer, the coarse focusing is used first in order to put the sample in the correct location to obtain a clear image. On light microscopes, moving the focusing knob will either move the stage up and down or move the head of the microscope up and down. On the biological microscope shown above, moving the coarse focus adjusts the height of the stage. On most high school microscopes, the focusing mechanism moves the height of the head of the microscope. Once the coarse focus knob has been used to put the sample in the correct location, Next, the fine focus knob is used to fine tune the focus and create a crisp and clear image. Light microscopes use a condenser above the light source in order to focus and direct the light up through the specimen in a small beam of light and into the eyepieces. The objective lenses can be rotated in order to change the magnification of the microscope. Most light microscopes utilize 10x eyepieces and this magnification is multiplied by the objective lens value to determine the microscope magnification. For example, when using the 4x objective lens, that's basically saying 4 times 10 equals 4x or 40 times the magnification of a normal lens. If the objective lens is rotated to the 10x objective, that's basically saying 10 times 10 equals 100x or 100 times the total magnification of a normal lens. Light microscopes are able to magnify objects up to 1000x or 1000 times the normal magnification of a lens. This makes it easy for light microscopes to magnify cells and make them larger for us to see. Now let's review some of the images produced by light microscopes. Take a look at the following cell viewed under a light microscope. Let's look at some of the physical characteristics of the cell. It has green circles in the cell and the cells are kind of rectangular in shape. Now let's look at another type of cell under a light microscope. Notice that these cells have a dot in the middle, but the dot is not green. Also, these cells seem to be more round in shape. Let's take a look at one more type of cell. 
These cells have many rod-like structures. They also don't seem to have much separation from each other like the other two cells. Quick checks for understanding. Look at the first two cells. Which types of cells allow an organism to move more? Cell 1 or cell 2? Look at all three cells. Which cells do you think are plant cells, animal cells, or bacteria cells? Pause the video and take three minutes to write your responses and explain what clues you use to come up with your answers. You got this. In summary, plants and animals are made up of cells that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. Technological tools like microscopes allow us to view cells by magnifying their image so we can see all of their fascinating parts. If it were not for microscopes and other technological tools, we would miss out on all kinds of fascinating organisms too small to see with our own eyes. With that being said, let's give a special shout out to Hans and Zacharias Jackson, Robert Hook, Anton Van Leeuwenhoek, Joseph Jackson Lister, and several other scientists who were critical in the development of the microscope that you and I have the wonderful opportunity to view life at its smallest level. We appreciate every last one of you for your many efforts and contributions in bringing science to life. And that's our video for today. Now it's session off to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining why microscopes are necessary technology tools to view cells by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.